Send loving kindness to your enemies, and only then will you be free from them, free from the traps of judgment that you put on them, the anger you feel towards them, the rage, the victimhood, the blame, the complaint. This all needs to go if you want to be free from that suffering. Accepting them, although this might seem difficult, is the key to this resolution. And acceptance means not necessarily to approve of what they are doing or have done. You don't have to like it. But it means to accept the reality of what is. It has happened. And things like that may continue to happen. But to live in the mind is a projection out into the future of what could happen, how they could behave, who they could be. And this makes us see mental images in our mind of possible scenarios. These scenarios are not, they're not pleasurable, are they? And so to be free from that suffering, to be free from seeing them in a different light and then feeling bad about it or angry, as I said, it means to drop that judgment, move into a state of acceptance. You can do this by, well, there's many different ways, but let me just talk about one way that could be helpful. And that way would be to send appreciation for what it has taught you. So focus on the part that you can be appreciative of and see it as an opportunity for your growth, whether that be you setting a boundary with them, you understanding people better, you releasing judgment and now becoming a more equanimous person, a more accepting person, a more loving and kind person. So this person has presented you a potential opportunity if you were to take it. That's the first thing. The second thing would be to love the event or be as appreciative of it as you can and let go of all feelings or aversions until you can feel loving and accepting feelings for this person. This means to let go of the need to control them, have safety or security with them, be one or separate with them, and control them, or gain their approval. If you can remove this, you'll be... If you can let go of these characteristics, you will find that you are now free from the chains that have bound you energetically to them. You can think of it like a cord between you and them, binding you together with every single thought or belief system that makes you not accept them, that makes you expect them to be a certain way. These are binding you. The judgments are binding you guys together, quantum entangling you guys together like cords of attachment. Drop these cords of attachment. Send love to your en enemies. This is the only way you can be free from your enemies.